Hey guys, it's me, The Stone. If you're on the Discord, we've already seen an episode and already know who Ark is and what he's doing, and read the title, jump to the time screen on your screen right now. If you have absolutely no idea what's going on, stay here a little bit longer. Hey, it's me again, to do a series on the channel called Ark's Testing Lounge. Now if you don't know, there is this Mario Kart Wii user called Ark Intel, and he's been slowly creating a mod for Mario Kart Wii, called Mario Kart Wii 6.5, where in his own words, Mario Kart Wii is not a balanced game. Seriously, whose grand idea was it to have the Flame Runner, a feature-rich, capable speed machine, put in the same game as a vehicle like the Baby Booster? The world may never know. Yeah, he posts those tweaked vehicles in his Discord server and lets the members test them out, and if we're lucky, we can even play with them in fun rooms and stuff. Now, he only really gets the responses from those members that actually play with them, and since I live in Australia and he usually posts them out like 3am, I don't really get to, you know, play with them and give my response. But I still test them out and I still have thoughts on it that I just want to get get out to the people and just want to just share with everybody. So with this series, I'll be playing them and you're just giving, giving my thoughts, just all general. Now, if I would need to test this, I need to have some baselines. Firstly, I'm going to be testing this out on Daisy Circuit because one, I like that track, and two, because it has a straightaway near the end and a U-turn at the end of that straightaway, which you, that can be used for testing speed and, and just the drift, and there's also a figure eight which can also be good for testing drift and mini turbo, and there are also cones on the tracks to test the weight stat, and there's also a shortcut near the beginning which is very useful for online play, so we can see how well it does with that. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So today, we're not playing just one, not two, but three whole new vehicles added to the Mario Kart Wii 6.5 mod by Ark Intel. And I know what the vehicles are, and they're all pretty unique. They all have some sort of gimmick that makes it unique. That's kind of the entire mod, you know, idea. So I'm gonna go into time trials, and let's start off with the Honeycoop, which if you don't know what this is gonna be all about, you have to pick automatic for this one, kind of familiar to my sprinter video. And usually I would test it on Daisy Circuit, but this time I'm told that I had to test it out on Mario Raceway. And I've seen what it is. I'm pretty sure that you guys will figure it out within the first five seconds. They've even added a speedometer to the bottom right hand corner. Okay. It's a drift car, basically. I am not good with it. I have seen people get good with it. You have to go, whoa. It doesn't have any mini turbo. It's like slow down. You actually have to think. Which is, I like the, what they're doing. Like you actually have to kind of think. But, like I mean, this is the second patch. Like look at this top speed. And this is without re wheeling, because the flame runner can get to 97 with wheeling. But yeah, I'm just gonna play a full lap of this. And another unique thing about this patch is that some characters actually got buffs. Uh, don't choose Waluigi, he's broken. And on the right way. In the next vehicle, I'll show Waluigi. And it's just how just dumb he is, but yeah, it's, it's I like the I like the theory behind all of this because again, Mario Kart we not balanced. It's just just taking ideas and just taking a spin on things and going wild on them. But yeah, to talk about some of the buffs that some characters got, uh, um. King Boo got a massive buff, basically making him the third best heavyweight vehicle in the entire game, second to Rosalina and Funky Kong. I mean, Ark does make the mods, and his like avatar is like a Boo, so it makes sense. And I really like them doing this because it gives you a reason to choose some characters over another character. 
because there's no mark that way, you either choose Daisy or you choose Funky Kong, there's no real choice. But hey, we can go on to Waluigi to go on to our next vehicle, the Off-Roader. And again, no, not automatic, manual. And this time, I'm going to go into a track with a good amount of off-road to show the true capabilities of this vehicle. Let's go to Dry Dry Ruins. So here we are in Dry Dry Ruins. Uh, I'm not going to be on here for long because this is Waluigi and I actually want to play the game. But if you go backwards... Oh, did they fix him? He used to be to the point that he was like extremely broken. So I guess we'll use it. It's speed got a huge buff. I mean, it feels faster, and then it doesn't. Well, I mean, they nerf the speed, so when you go off road, you don't lose any speed. You know, it's a nice trade-off, and it makes sense. It also has a. Oh, okay, good. I didn't die there. That would have been really embarrassing. And, like, I mean, it actually looks like a pretty cool vehicle. And, this is going to be like the vehicle where on some tracks it will just get annihilated. And on some other tracks it will just do great on. And probably the, it's, it's hard to explain, but the Magic Cruiser is like this in basic Mario Kart Wii. Because it's... It's also very high in off-road, and uh, people sometimes just choose it, and then they just choose Sherbet Land, and then they just win. But this is just a very fun vehicle. It has a cool design. Its hitbox is big, so I, it's kind of weird to see how this will work in the meta. Kind of like the Honey Coop, well, the Honey Coop and the and the Sprinter. You have to actually get good at it to see how good it actually is. And there isn't really a point to me for making these videos anymore because you, you the viewer, can test these video these vehicles out by going into the Discord server and going to the lounge, and then that's where the patch notes are. And you can actually play with these vehicles in in like a lounge store setting, and then he'll gauge it. Or he he arc will will mod it depending on what the response is from that. And yeah, it's really cool. I haven't been able to play on it because internet privileges and stuff like that. You know, being a teenager and everything. So this is my main way of getting my message across. It still has a purpose, but like I mean, you can just go through here now. This will definitely be a really good track. Because then you can do one stream ultra. Oh, that's a funny thing. They call this the ultra, where you, if you use a mushroom, you go up there, like up on top of there, and then you just run around, do whatever you want. But that's not actually an ultra. But we just call it the ultra because now, main my main thought is that that's probably going to be like a pack player sort of vehicle. You know, with its huge hitbox and outside drifting, it can kind of you know be like. Kind of like the warrior bike, but like outside drifting, if that makes sense. And for our last video vehicle, time to go into the middleweights for their second, for their, for their third overall vehicle. And of course, we have to choose Birdo. And oh, I have to mention something: Birdo and Bowser Jr. both got a buff. I'm pretty sure Diddy Kong might have got one as well. I can't remember for the life of me. But yeah, Birdo and Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. was objectively the worst character in the entire game, and Birdo was just kind of there. Now, I'm a Birdo main at heart, and uh, it's just really cool. So, for the next vehicle, it's actually the Standard Bike M. Alex uh, has ever done the Standard Bike L, that was the first one that he did. And for this, let's go into Daisy Cruiser. Daisy Serg, I nearly called it Daisy Cruiser. Oh, oh no, that would have been bad. That would have been bad now the only way that I can describe this vehicle is do you have you guys played Mario Kart 8 if you have uh, this should be pretty 
This should be pretty new to you. This is not new. It's the weird outside inside drifting thing from um Mario Kart 8, which I didn't like. That is a really tight turn. You have to really over and under compensate it. But that can take really tight lines. Just testing it out on the the right here. Like, like oh my goodness. Wait, this goes nine. Wait, how fast does this go? I better check it out. I mean, look at that. And and funny thing is, is that this is still considered in the game to be an outside drifting vehicle, so that's why the camera gets all fucked up. But time to actually test the full-on speed of this thing. It goes 99. This is de this is getting a nerf. I know this has probably already been said, but this is probably like one of the best combinations in the in the entire game so so far. I mean, it's it has a slim profile. It's inside out outside drifting, and it goes 99 faster than the mock bike. This is like like the mock bike it is now just baby. It's like a baby version of this. I can use the mock bike to get used to this vehicle. Now I'm a mock bike player and I'm I mean I've been playing mock bike for like six months now. And I'm having a little bit of trouble with this. Now one thing I haven't really explained about the mod is like, what it's being compared to. It's it's being compared against the flame runner. Uh, the best vehicle in the entire game, it's being compared against it. It's like, that's like the gold standard. Everything should be able to keep up to that. So, I think that, that for the meta going forward, the only thing that I really think that should get nerfed is, is Birdo. Everything else seemed to balance enough from the new vehicles that I have played. I haven't tried Bowser Jr. yet. But I don't think I'm going to because time. And honestly, the balancing is like really well. Especially for just one guy with a small ish fan, fan base. Like, this hasn't been covered on uh, TWD98's channel. Or Troy's. Which is like, that's the big Mario Kart channel. So, considering like how many. Not as many people playing this. This is this is like really well balanced. So like the metal is. Pr is uh, if you've only seen the videos of me playing these vehicles, and this might not make a little, might not it might not make too much sense, but like oh, oh I need it. It goes ninety nine. Oh, that is getting an instant birth in Earth. But this makes me happy to be a Birdo main. Yeah. This is too good. So with that, thank you so much for watching. I have another video coming out this week and maybe next week. Uh, thank you so much for watching and the end screen should be coming round, roundabout now.